Hi, my name is Jose De La Portilla and I'm a technical trainer with HVAC Learning Solutions. Today I want to talk to you about something that's critical and that's technician's best practices or the best things the technician can do on every job to ensure confidence, performance, accuracy, and great customer service. The first most important thing that we need to realize is as technicians, we are the most seen representative of our company. We need to look, walk, talk, and act the part. We need to be professional in everything we do. It starts with our appearances, shirts tucked in, proper uniform, clean uniform, down to our personal hygiene, and it goes on to focus on respect for the customer. One of the ways we can demonstrate respect for the customer is to make sure, no matter how uncomfortable or painful these are to put on on a daily basis, that we always wear shoe covers when we go into the homeowner's place. A simple act of throwaway shoe covers shows the homeowner that we care about them, their property, and we respect them. So that's the first best practice. Always remember you're a professional at everything that you do. Some of these next best practices are things you can do to improve your performance on the job and at the same time, show the customer that we care. One of the things that I think every technician needs to keep in their truck or in their tool bag at all time is a magnetic parts dish. Look, you're gonna take apart the industry every time you go to a job. You're gonna be removing quarter inch and 5 16 inch screws all day long. Well, they all may have the same size head, they're all gonna be different lengths. We can't rely on having enough leftover screws in our truck or just leaving screws out of a panel and making the homeowner think that we're actually doing a good job. So keep a magnetic parts dish with you at all times. You're not going to lose the screws that you took out when you did that job. And at the end of the job, if you have screws left, know you left something out and they need to go back in. The next thing we'll focus on is your own personal safety. So whenever you're working in the industry, whether it's around electricity, gas heating, hydronics, water, oil, or refrigerant, you need to always wear safety glasses. Something as simple as a burst of free onto your eyes can make you lose your sight forever. Then you've not only lost your job, but you've lost a career because you can no longer provide for yourself or your family. Let's take a look now at the electrical troubleshooting because the bulk of what we do is going to involve electricity. So when we work with electricity, remember best practices is get rid of any jewelry that you might be wearing before working in an electrical panel that could re increase or decrease your resistance and increase your chance of being electrically shocked. Take it away, put it in your pocket. If it's a ring that you can't take off, something as simple as wrapping your finger in electrical tape around the ring can prevent a problem. Here's some other best practices. You've got to have the right tool to do the job. And while we have to invest in our own career to get these tools, they're worthwhile. Something as simple as using an alligator clip to clip onto one lead of potential or power and having a meter that has a place to hold the other lead can greatly increase our time troubleshooting or decrease our time troubleshooting and also increase our safety. As when it comes time to make voltage measurements, I can do this or this and keep my hand completely out of the electrical panel and not have to worry about electrocution or shorting something out. This is a great feature to have. Multiple meters have multiple things that you can use. Not only do we have an option like that, but remember, whenever we're checking the Amtra on a blower motor, we have to have the blower panels in place. That way we can see how much work the blower motor is truly doing. If I had an amp meter that had the amp jock connected just like this and I needed to see the display, it could be very difficult in some applications to read the amp draw with the blower doors in place. So consider a tool like this that has leads that are removable. And they can plug directly into your amp probe. This allows you to take your amp meter, clamp it around a wire, put the panels back on, and remotely measure the amperage. This gives you a true reading. Your diagnoses are true. They're more correct. And when you do all of your calculations, you'll have a better result than what you would do without having these kind of tools at your fingertips. Now there's a lot of other things that we could invest in or we could talk in, talk about today, but we don't have the time to cover everything. Know that sometimes you need to invest in yourself as much as the employer is going to invest in you. That includes the right tools, the right education, the right look, 
performance and delivery. If there's something that you're weak on, the only way you'll get better is to practice and do it more often. So keep that in mind and remember that this is more than a job. This is a career and a great career in the HVAC industry can last a long time and provide for you and your family for a long time. Do it right so you'll be seen as the expert everywhere you go. Thanks for tuning in. I look forward to talking to you again.